Previously we looked at a logical binary shift, now we're looking at a arithmetic binary shift which is slightly more developed and the issue comes from the fact that in sign binary a logical shift will or can cause the sign bit to change so it can go from a positive number to a negative number just because a one is shifted into that position or shifted out of it depending on what uh, side it is. So an arithmetic shift is slightly different and it's used on two's complement binary so signed binary so either positive or negative whereas before we were just talking about you know just positive integers and an arithmetic shift basically prevents this from being a problem so if we've got a number here so this is our sign bit so this is a negative number this is actually negative 3 in 2's complement if we subtracted 1 and flipped it it would be for positive 3 but we've got minus 3 here in 2's complement so if we apply let's do right arithmetic shift first the sign bit here the most significant bit is copied as well as shifted. So before we would just replace this with a zero that's got to come from nowhere just to fill in the gap and we'd shift it across. But here we actually copy across the sign bit. So the sign bit is maintained and also shifted. So you've got to make sure you actually shift it as well along with all the others. And again the last one gets shifted out and we lose it forever. So this is negative two in two's comp in uh, two's complement. And and like the effect in a right logical shift we divide by two and again this is not a number so we don't get a uh, a proper division we lose the fractional part but it would work fine if we had an even number just for comparison then to show what a right logical shift would look like if we did it on this starting number this minus three well we'd basically bring in a zero because we wouldn't copy across the sign bit and we would end up with six positive six which is not <laughs> which is pretty inexplicable it doesn't make any sense because we basically messed up our sign so there's a clear difference for a right shift, but for the left shift, actually an arithmetic shift equals a logical shift pretty much. There's a, a, there are two caveats, but they're so minor that they're more kind of implementational details we don't need to worry too much about. So basically a left shift in the previous video should multiply by two regardless of the sign. So if we have minus three again as our example in two's complement and we do a left shift on it, we don't have to worry about anything to do with a bit, we just do it as normal like we would for logical shift. And we should end up with the correct answer in terms of multiplying by two. So minus three times minus two is sorry, minus three times two is minus six, and this works out okay. So it, in fact, our sign bit gets discarded, but it's uh, it works out okay. So that's fine. So just like in the logical video, we can have an issue where we have an overflow. So for example, plus six times two is clearly going to be plus twelve, but we get minus four if we do a a just any left shift on it. They're the same. And that's not really because we have an issue with the sign bit, it's because we've exceeded the capacity or exceeded, so 12 is beyond the maximum value that a 4 bit 2, 2's complement number can represent. So we have an overflow error because we are getting a wrong result because we've got too much data to fit into our allocated amount of memory.